Good day YouTube. Neon Doom here. BZ in the Neon Doom room again for another op shop, thrift store, second hand, charity store, whatever you want to call it, finds video. Alright guys, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, we didn't get to the very depth back bag there. There's something I want to talk about back there that's yeah, I've got to do it because there's some good DVDs back there. But I've dug out some bags and I've got some new finds here as well. So we're going to mix them up together. Let's get the new ones done quickly and straight away. Pull my finger. All right. So we'll start with the first one, Lovely Bones. Peter Jackson. Now, I've never seen this film. I feel sad that I've never seen it because I've heard really good things about it. Lovely Bones. So a very sad movie. I think that's probably why I've put off seeing it. It's about a man losing his daughter to a predator who kills her. But it's t uh, the story is sort of told from her point of view, as uh, maybe a ghost or a spirit, or looking down on his fa her family as they're making coming to terms with their lives after her death, and looking at who the culprit was, as the dad's trying to figure out who the culprit was. Anyway, I bought it DVD. I think these were a dollar each from memory, or they could have been two dollars each. Can't remember. My daughter picked this one up. It is a very good movie, by the way, Rango. If you haven't seen Rango, you should definitely, definitely see Rango. Sorry about the light. Rango is an excellent movie. It kind of reminds me of uh, a few different things. I don't know if Johnny... Oh, it is Johnny Depp's voice. Um, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas mixed with just some other stuff. Uh, cowboys. And it's, a, it's about a chameleon that gets lost in the desert. And he just goes on this whole journey with like a real country and western kind of town. And a bunch of bad guys. It's an excellent, excellent movie. If you haven't seen Rango, you got to watch it. You'll get a good belly laugh out of it. Uh, but it is super strange. Now, my daughter did pick this up and shove it in my pile, and that's fine. I'm happy to have this in here. Someone has written on it, though. Ben, whatever your name is. I don't know what your name is. But don't write on your DVDs. Could even be a library copy. I don't know. But anyway, Rango is excellent. Now, I'm really glad I found this because this is a good movie. Airheads. Some of my friends will say Airheads isn't a good movie, but it's got some great people in it. It's got Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, 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 I don't know how to say his name, and Adam Sandler. Early days, I think 90s from memory, I don't see a date. 1994 is the copyright. There is a 2002 probably distribution copyright on the bottom as well. A uh, bunch of um, rock and rollers hold up. Hold up a... I don't remember. They break into a radio station hoping to get their demo played on the air. Yeah, it's just funny. They're all kind of dumb asses and they're going to do something and then they've got to get their way out of it. Uh, this is very clean. Uh, I'm just happy to find it. I don't see this movie out in op shops at all or secondhand stores. I'm sure it's out there, but just happy to find it for a couple of bucks. So really happy with that. I uh, picked up this one just because it's listed as MA, Restricted with Strong Violence, Hansel and Gretel. I have seen this out and about, I just never even really looked at it before. So it's Hansel and Gretel, Im imagined as I think monster hunters or vampire hunters. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so it looks good. I'll probably edit out some of that because I was trying to think of something. But yes, it looked good. If it's very violent and bloody and action packed, then it might be worth a watch for me, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much substance is in it. I just got it because it was MA and I thought, well, maybe it's good. Uh, I picked up Taken. Um, it's a great movie. It is a bit of a hard watch in places, but um, I don't own it. And Liam Neeson's excellent in it. On the warpath, it does have that. Someone hasn't taken out the, um, the lock in it. See the lock? It's been left in there. It doesn't always mean the disc is clean, so let's have a look. So I didn't check all of these. Scratchy, but clean ish. Should be okay to play. Should be. Let's take out this thing. It's a thing. Let's take it out. We've got it out. Let's throw it away. Just in case I lock it. Taken. Okay. Uh, these are my girls, so I'm going to have to bring these back now. Snow White and the Huntsman. Double disc. It's very heavy. Two disc edition. Oh, it's got the lock in it as well. Look, the lock's in it. Take that out. Two disc edition. It's very heavy. There it is. Throw it away. Yeah, it's a very heavy two disc edition. So I'm actually glad they picked that up. I haven't seen it. It is M and his strong fantasy and violence. Kristen Stewart, Charlize Theron and Chris Hemsworth. 
apparently it's a good movie. My kids are at an age now where I want them to watch more older movies, but let's just see. I'm hoping it's not too dark for them. I have heard it's good, but it's like, I don't know, maybe. And a two disc edition is really good. We'll keep a hold of that one. Uh, I picked this up for my eldest daughter because she does drama, uh, hair, but once again, look, M. So I don't know if she'll be able to watch it. That was two bucks. Um, and it looked good, I checked the disc. But it looks like an interesting um, movie. And it's got, uh, was it Treat, Treat Williams? Yeah, Treat Williams in it, who was in one of my favorite uh, horror action movies, um, Deep Rising. But yeah, he's a hippie in this as well. So I've got that, I'll have to bring those back into the house. Uh, I've got Idiocracy, because it's just a funny movie. Oh. oh, did I not check it? Holy Toledo. Two bucks for nothing. I usually check them all. I didn't check that one. And it's got the lock on it and everything. It's got the lock on it and it had no disc in it. Who's the idiot now, hey? Who's the idiot now? Idiocracy? That's me right here. I should have checked the disc. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. The case is kind of cool, but I don't need an extra case for no reason. So we're uh, idiotically missing a disc for no reason. That was two bucks that as well. Uh, never really, I mean, not often find horror movies at op shops. Children of the Corn. Three, part three. Children of the Corn, four, popcorn. Uh, a little bit scuffy and a little bit scratchy, but just happy to find uh, a horror movie. Oh, the case is, let's just rectify that. It's slipping down here. This looks like it used to be at cash converters. Sticker is stuck to it, please don't wreck it. Just always happy to find uh, older school horror at an op shop because it's just, I don't know what it is in Australia, you just do not find many, if any, horror in op shops. I just I often wonder why, but I don't have any answers. So, Based on a story by Stephen King, yes, happy to have this. The disc is in there, by the way. I checked that already. Number three. All right, we're down to King Ralph. All you people out there that are too serious can laugh at me and say King Ralph, that's good. It's like a crap movie. Uh, but it's a fun movie. John Goodman's in it. And it's a good movie. Your average Joe that realizes he's royalty and he has to adapt to his new life in his new kingdom. All right, now that was the first batch. Here's the second batch. Let's get out of VHS tapes first. Prince of Tides, Barbara Streisand and Nick Nolte. You know, not. The kind of movie I think is the most amazing movie in the world. I've read the back of this. I do vaguely remember seeing this back in the day. I couldn't tell you anything about it from the Barbara Streisand collection. Um, it is, a, you know, like a drama. It's a drama movie. I picked it up anyway. It's got some good actors in it. La Bamba! What a great one to find on VHS. Hopefully I don't already have it on VHS. Do you check it? It is in there. It has been rewound as well. Very happy about that. Uh, got around to buying The Wizard of Oz. I have um, Return to Oz, I think, in there somewhere. Wizard of Oz is in there. Is it rewound? Yes, it is. Classic movie, classic original movie. Picked it up, what the heck. Um, I'm a Brendan Fraser fan. Oh, that label came right off. Label came off. George, George of the Jungle. I'm going to have to glue this back on. Wow, that came straight off as well. Bad gloopiness on that. Bad sticky. Bad sticky. George of the Jungle. Disney's George of the Jungle. I just picked it up because it's got Brendan Fraser in it and I like Brendan Fraser. He's a funny dude. All right, last five. These are mostly scary or um, thrillers. Picked up The Howling Part. Oh my God, is that three or? Yeah, Howling Part Three, The Marsupials. It must have been digitally remastered by someone else. The Howling Part 3. I picked that up because I don't have it. Director Philippe Mora DVD collection. The Howling Terror continues, but it is listed on the back in very old writing. Uh, PAL, but this DVD has no original coding. It does not company running time. Oh, it's 1987, which is good. Yeah, anyway, I picked it up because it was The Howling Part 3. It is in there, by the way. Happy about that. 
Jennifer Lopez, Vince Vaughn, Vincent Dion, I don't know how to say his name, Vincent Donofrio, The Cell, Enter the Mind of a Killer. Have been meaning to find this, uh, but just found it for a buck randomly. Um, yeah, I remember seeing it, but I don't remember it at all. Don't know if I've even watched it all the way through. Special Director's Cut includes never before seen footage. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so I picked it up. It looked like um, well worth having the collection. Pick this one up. This is going to be a hard watch. I've read about this. I haven't seen it before, uh, but I do know 100% this is going to be a hard watch. The Nightingale, Australian movie, I think set in Tasmania. Um, it's going to be a hard watch. Uh, it's, yeah. From the mistreatment of Indigenous peoples to the mistreatment of this woman herself by colonial troops, it's going to be a hard watch. I think but I believe I've read many amazing things about it as well where it is actually just as much as it is a hard watch it's also a gripping watch and also a beautiful movie to watch at the same time so I just think I don't know I'm kind of psyching myself up for having to watch it because I do know what's going to happen in some of it um, but I am very supportive of the fact that there are local indigenous uh, actors in this as well so hopefully it lives up to its name and is a good movie and not just a shocking movie. Charles Bronson, Cold Sweat. All right, it is in there. I don't know how legit it is. It is a bit scuffy. But I do like Charles Bronson. I do like his movies. He was kind of like the action guy for back in his day. And um, he did a lot of movies where he took revenge on people, and uh, I respect that. Picked it up. Last one, Nightcrawler. Can't remember who's in it. Jake Gyllenhaal. If it bleeds, it leads. So I think he's like a dude that goes out and gets video footage of bad things that happen, and then he reaches a point where there's not enough bad things happening. So I think he makes bad things happen. But yes, uh, very skin crawly kind of movie from what I can hear from what I hear about it very skin crawly movie from what I hear about it he's after the next big story and I just picked it up because I just have never gotten around to watching it and I'd like to there you go that's it guys that's all of my finds from at least two different places uh, I've got another bag to go through another time but if I go through them all now there's not going to be enough for next time possibly depending on how often I go op shopping um, but yeah two lots in one bag and four VHS tapes most of them were you know okay not great the La Bumble ones were just because it's era specific to the 80s but um, all of these guys happy to have them let's pile them up all of these and the VHS which I won't hold so happy to get those guys some of them are for my daughters to watch don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell up here that's really down there so don't hit that hit that and uh, we'll see you on the next one hopefully we can have a chat about some more toys and also some more physical media we love physical media here you can see it all around love you guys thank you so much now i'm doom out Oh, am I still recording? I'm awfully sorry about that. I got a bit distracted. Let's switch you off. Hey, uh, and just to let you know, I got one final thing to say, and that is...